Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful Monday morning. I'm out at Mount Mincy on the Pennsylvania side of the Delaware Water Gap. Um, not just the National Recreation Area, that large area, but the Water Gap itself on Mount Mincy. Behind me is Mount Tammany, um, home where that, that uh, rock fire was a couple of weeks ago, maybe less a week ago. But I'm here um, at Mount Mincy looking for some really gorgeous rhododendron tunnels, rhododendron tunnels. Um, I came here on a group hike uh, with my company about a week ago, a little bit longer, and just fell in love with the just constant, constant tunnels of beautiful rhododendron, really thick, sometimes a true tunnel over, over you know, encapsulating the trail itself. Um, so I, I thought I'd take the morning off and uh, try to hunt them down and get a great shot. But I wanted to do the introduction here, which is one, it's a great view. It's got road noise, which doesn't help, but I love this view. Um, and it's just off the Appalachian Trail. Um, second, I'm also trying to figure out how to use this gimbal. So I received a gimbal for Christmas and just trying to figure out how to make it work and how to make it work for me. So hopefully the footage might look a little bit more stable um, but I won't know until I get back home and put it into our uh, into the video. Um, so bear with me if we have some challenges with the gimbal as well. So this is a short hike, maybe five miles. Um, it's a good 1,200 feet up, so there's a little bit of elevation, but the hike in itself is not short. But it is really beautiful. Um, I know I talk about the Delaware Water Gap area way too much, but it's with good reason. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's see if I can grab a photo or two. Okay, I have my first shot. I have to admit, I don't love it. Um, I need to come back here one day when it's foggy or rainy, and then this tunnel would be really perfect. But right now, with a lot of dead leaves um, and unflattering light, I'm gonna take the shot just so I have it for reference but I'm not, I'm not enamored with it. But we'll see, um, we'll see, still a great area. And I think for this one, I wanna try to stay as low as I can. We'll see how low I can get here. So I'm just trying to think through what I want to focus on. Do I want to focus on something in the foreground and leave the background a little blurry? Or try to shoot at a high aperture and keep the whole thing sharp? I think I think I like the blurry idea. A little bit more depth of field, but, or I guess less depth of field, but I think I need to try both. This camera has no bokeh <laughs> to speak of. Yeah, I'm not loving these shots here at all. I must see the sun peeking through here. I almost wonder if I have to get back a little bit further with my tripod raised just a bit to try to capture that sun ray. Fired off a test shot because I just, the sun was captured perfectly and I wanted to make sure I got that. I did not compose that as well as I wanted to, but it was an element of time.
okay, but that was good. Good practice. Um, okay, so onward we go. Continuing to climb Mount Mincy. This gimbal though, I do have trouble keeping it on me. Um, and then we'll head down the fire road for one other picture that I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, beautiful morning so far. Very glad to be here. So here I am at my uh, second location. Again, this is not the best conditions. I'm gonna take the shot anyway, but I definitely have to come back here on a rainy day or in the fog. Um, I wanted to get low to the ground here. Uh, very low to the ground and kind of zoom in from what you saw a moment ago. Zoom in about a third of the way down. Focus on the rhododendron that's closest to us. Um, let's see what that looks like. So, I'm focusing on the rhododendron about here, zooming in down to about here, and taking it that way. What I like about this, you can't see it well on the GoPro, but the symmetry in these tall, I don't know what kind of trees they are, tall bare trees, everything straight up. Um, and then, there, of course, the rhododendron on either side. So that's that, that's what I'm going for. Um, not best conditions again, but we'll see what it looks like. Um, very nice little area. Okay, so far so good at Mount Mincy. I wanted to give a little thoughts on the gimbal. I guess the first thing I noticed, it's not, it's not as easy to use the GoPro when it is attached to a gimbal. I'm pretty sure one of my microphone ports or microphone speakers, there's little holes on the top and side of a GoPro. I'm pretty sure they're covered by the bar that clamps the GoPro to the gimbal. So I'm not sure what kind of sound quality, if any, <laughs> I'm going to be getting out of this. So that's one issue. Two, the buttons are also difficult to navigate and the screen is partially blocked by the brace as well. So I don't think they're show stoppers, um, but it is difficult. Second, I don't love the angle that I get. I think I will not like the angle that I get with the gimbal. I can't hold it in a manner that's comfortable while I'm walking and talking. Normally I can hold my selfie stick down here and with a long reach, the GoPro's up here. But now as you can probably see, my arm's in the shot. I'm guessing my arm is in the shot. I probably look like an idiot. Um, and two, I guess in three, there is a noticeable weight difference, right, between the selfie stick and this gimbal. Not that it's very heavy, it is just noticeable. And if I'm doing a long shot or a long time lapse, I do find myself switching hands. Um, again, not that it's too heavy, it's not a heavy gimbal by any means. It's just noticeable compared to a selfie stick. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how the footage comes out. I don't want to speak too soon. If the footage is great, I'll live with it. If the footage isn't much better, then it probably makes no sense to use this as a daily vlogging apparatus. So I think I have one stop left. I hear some, I hear a stream to my left that I know there's access to right off of this trail. 
This is the Mount Mincy Fire Road. So I basically did a loop up the Appalachian Trail, down the fire road. Um, yeah, that's the goal. But to the left of the fire road, there's something called Table Rocks, which is an unblazed section of trail that has a stream. It has like an open area of bedrock that's pretty cool. Um, and it's not used greatly, so it's a little bit more secluded than this large fire road. Um, so maybe I'll head down there as well. Although if I head that way, it's the opposite direction of where I parked. So we'll see. So let me know your thoughts on the gimbal. Does the selfie stick do the trick? Do you notice any difference in uh, smoothness with the gimbal? Um, comment below. I would love some advice. Because I'm a greenhorn photo taker. Not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, and could frankly use all the help I could get. surprise so I think I found a shot here I just need to decide whether I want to cross the stream um, or take it from here I gotta check both areas out so let me do that and then when I set up the shot I'll be back what a lovely little area nice surprise Okay, let me try to walk you through this shot. It's not perfect. The sun is in the water, which is definitely going to be a problem for any type of long exposure. I may wait to see if a cloud comes, but there are not many in the sky, so it, it may have to be a quick shutter speed. But let me walk you through what we got. What a lovely situation. Um, I spent some time, you know, with what I think is the ideal composition totally subjective um, but yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to this shot so what I'm looking for I want this rhododendron somehow in the frame I want the water to the right I want the water to the left but right now that rhododendron is blocking a center channel of water now if I stand up here I can get all three but then I lose what's in the lower part of the frame. So I just have to figure out what makes the most sense. My worry spot is up here. You can see sunlight on it. This will definitely, I mean, any type of long exposure will definitely blow out those highlights. So that, that's my one trouble spot. I wish I was here two hours earlier. Um, but let me see if I can recompose because I'm not loving, I didn't notice it. I'm not loving that this little stream here is being blocked by the rhododendron. So, as you can see now, I do have one, two, three visible. Um, but I don't have the top of this in the frame. But honestly, I'm not sure that matters much because I can't differentiate this rhododendron from the ones in the back anyway. 
Um, I, I'm going to try to get that a little bit more completely in frame, but if I can't, that's okay too. Okay, I cannot think of a better place to end this video. Um, I'll put the name of this up on the screen. I don't know what it's called, but it's still on this unblazed trail in the Table Rocks area of Mount Mincy. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And it's probably 45 degrees right now. There's still ice. Um, I just had a blast. Hopefully the B-roll turns out. All right. The Green Horn Photo Taker. I hope you enjoyed watching this vid. Um, I'll see you next time. Get out and explore.